this trick is called goofy style. It goes like this. Um, basically, you have the zippo on the side with the hinge facing upwards. Uh, you have your ring finger at the bottom of the lid, your index finger at the bottom of the body, and your middle finger at where the hinge, over where the hinge is. You break in transition, and so you're in this pinch grip where you have your thumb and your your middle finger pinching the zippo at where the hinge is, and your index finger is at this bottom corner of the zippo, and then you basically just push inwards and you strike the zippo against the very bottom of your index finger, uh, and then you bring it around, and it's and then you uh, snap to close. Um, the trick's inventor, Alex Arvik, um, he he had meant mentioned that this trick should be done in two steps instead of three like the three-step method is the wrong way and uh, I guess he noticed a lot of people were doing it in three steps instead of two so he he actually created that goofy style advanced video that I put up on my YouTube channel a few years ago and um, what he means is that when you break the zippo open you should automatically go into that pinch grip transition um, basically the wrong way, the three-step way would be you break the zippo, you transition to pinch grip, and then you light. And that's three steps. Um, the right way is that right after you break, there's no pause or anything. It just goes right into the transition into the pinch grip. Um, and I guess it's it's a little harder uh, because you kind of have to know the hand movement, like the finger motions. Like If you're not familiar with this trick, then you won't really be able to manipulate three fingers into the right places um, but what I find is that instead of doing it perpendicular where after you break the zippo open it stays perpendicular you tilt the zippo a little um, you know maybe not quite 45 degrees but just slightly so that um, your middle it, the zippo is leaning away from the inside of your middle finger so that when you do break the zippo open it basically automatically forces you into that transition like it just falls into place um, you know, I find that with any Zippo trick where it requires you to stretch out your fingers a lot, if your fingers aren't really long, like, you know, I don't have, like, piano player fingers or anything, my fingers are pretty short, um, this tilt is very useful to make the, any trick seem a lot smoother and make transitions a lot easier, um, I mean, I guess that's the reason why he felt that the trick should be done in two steps instead of three, because it's just smoother, and, you know, that's that's a big thing in Zippo tricks, where you want the Zippo trick to seem as smooth as possible, and you want it done fast. Like, very few tricks are actually done slow, because, you know, you're playing with a lighter, and if you're doing any of the finger spins or twirls, uh, and you have the lighter lit, and you, you want to do it fast, and you want to do it smoother, you're going to burn yourself. So, you know, once again, the trick's like this didn't light. Yeah. <laughs> Running out of fluid. There we go.